Many families across the country have tree houses in their backyards, but what does that do to the tree? NCTV 17's Whitney Goodbread went to find out. When Phil Duffin's son found plans for a tree house in a book, he decided it could be an interesting addition to their backyard. I was flipping through it and I saw this design for a tree house. I'm like, Dad, we should build this. Half of the family quickly got on board. I think it was a cool idea. It was just something different. I thought, we got these really cool big trees in the backyard, and I thought, why not? Let's see what we can do. But the other half of the family was concerned about safety. I don't know if it's going to stay stable or what, so I was a little nervous. Once he put all the uh, side pieces around it, that made me feel a lot better. And he also um, spent some time jumping up there to show me that it was pretty secure. So I figured if he could do that, then... <laughs> the kids would be okay up there. Though safety is an obvious concern when constructing a tree house, arborists remind us not to forget what's best for the tree. You want to look at minimal amount of hardware. I mean, you want the, the tree house to be safe, but the more things you nail or screw into a tree, the more opportunities there are for, say, a disease or an insect to get into the tree. And that could threaten not only the tree, but the integrity of the tree house as well. In the Duffins case, they used large bolts to secure the structure with minimal penetration of the tree. And if you already own a tree house, you should be checking it two to three times a year because its stability can change with the weather. The tree will grow, it will change, the branches move in the wind, that may start to alter the structure of the tree house, especially after we've gone through a winter season to make sure that the wear and tear of winter has not you know, degraded that tree house. Yeisley also suggests using trees with harder woods, like oaks and sugar maples, to house the structure since they're less prone to storm damage. No matter what tree you pick, you want to make sure that it's a healthy tree, that it doesn't have a lot of dead wood in it. Uh, you may even want to have an arborist come and inspect it to see is it as sound as you think it is. If you're unsure if your tree is stable enough for a tree house, the Arboretum's plant clinic can connect you with a certified arborist that can inspect it for you. I'm Whitney Goodbread for Naperville News 17. And you can find that information at mortonarb.org.